What is up everybody? My name is Harry Rice. Today is a brand new video. Today the Montreal Canadiens played at home against the Las Vegas Golden Refs and uh, would end up losing, surprisingly, by a final score of 6-5. to five. Yeah, uh, we are going to get into the game. We are going to... Go over the opening lines. We're gonna go. Oh, sorry. There's something I, I forgot to put up uh, that I that needs to be up here. Uh, oh, it's oh I gotta find it real quick. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go over the opening lines. We are going to go over. Um, there he is. We're gonna go over the lines. We're gonna go over the stats. Uh, oh, the uh, sorry, the the the, the uh, analytics, if you could say, my, the analysis, my summary of the game. Then we go through the closing Canadian stats, and then we're going to get on out of here. And I don't want to talk about this game for too long. Let's get into it. The opening lines for the Canadians were Caulfield, Dvorak, Stavkovsky, Newhook, Suzuki, Anderson, Pearson, Monaghan, Gallagher, and Ulanen Evans, Ulanen Evans, Pizzetta, Gouli, Kovacevic, Matheson, Barron, and Jack I. Lindstrom are on the blue line. Caden Primo gets another start for the Canadians, and Jake Allen would back him up, giving Sam Montembeau a night off. If you guys are wondering why I'm not concerned about the six goals or mentioning it yet, um, we'll, we'll, you'll see. The opening lines for the Golden Refs were Barbashev, Eichel, Marcheseau, Howden, Amadio, Stone, Cotter, Carlson, and Dorf, Dor, Dorafelev, I, something like that. Carrier, Waugh, Kulazar. Uh, Martinez, Petrangelo, McNabb, Theodore, and Hutton, White Cloud were on the blue line. Aiden Hill gets a start for the Golden Knights, and Logan Thompson backs them up. Both have been quite solid this year. Uh, before the game, there appears to have been a, a new leak of a jersey provided by a Nick Suzuki bobblehead, of all things. It's the very first original Canadians jersey with the C, the little blue, uh, the little white stripe. It's a blue jersey. Uh... Given uh, the bobblehead is being given away December 9th, uh, which was the uh, day the Canadians were created, December 9th, 1909. I believe it was December 9th, they said. A lot of nines in there. Um, yeah, it appears that we might be surprisingly announcing a jersey, uh, a new jersey, again, that, that jersey to use very soon. Don't know if it's 100%, don't know if we will. But uh, that was interesting to note. Uh, also, Raphael Harvey Pinard is day to day with an injury. I believe he, I don't know if he suffered it last night or or what or the other night I should say. But um, yeah, the Canadians uh, they're out. Harvey Pinard, so Michael Pizzetta would come into the into the lineup tonight. Keaton Primo covers a, bu a, pl a puck eight seconds. In. Nice pressure. <sighs> nice pressure a minute in. Pearson on a three on one turns the puck over. That's a bad chance. Carlson then gets robbed big time by Kane Primo. Big save there. Golden Knights then go to the power play. Mike Matheson's called for tripping on a shot block. That was not a good call. I will say that. I don't think Matheson should have gotten called. He goes down to block a shot or a pass across uh, and and just ends up getting a piece of the guy. He doesn't decide to jump over Matheson. So I think that's a rough call. I don't think that it's a right one that should be made. But regardless, Golden Knights go to the power play. Uh, Knights pressure, Matheson, uh, sorry, Pearson with three big saves on William Carlson. He had, I think, eight shots tonight. Uh, good cross crease chances as well. We have a new CP in net. So we used to have Carey Price. It appears we've got Caden Primo. I am still saying this despite the amount of goals allowed. Habs are one for one on the PK tonight. The shots are 8 nothing for the Golden Knights seven minutes in. Eichel has a hit on Suzuki from behind, no call. And against the flow of the play, the Canadians score. Alex Newhook, through a screen, gets a big 1-0 game-leading goal on the first Canadian shot. Suzuki and Matheson with the assist on that one. Oh, God, the Habs jersey is starting to flake a little bit. That is, that's not good. Uh, well, there we go. Uh, but, yeah, uh, so it's a 1-0 Canadians lead just like that. Uh, then off the faceoff, nice pass in. Christian Dvorak gets on a solid break. Good shot, just stopped by the pads of Aiden Hill. Almost made it 2 nothing for the Canadians. Dorfalev gets two shots, two of them. Uh, gets two good chances. One off the pads, the other gets gloved down. Paul Cotter gets in a good spin. Deke Primo stands him up. Great chance there. I believe it was on Paul Cotter. 
And the Canadians score again, really, really against the flow of the play. Jonathan Kovacevic with a great chance. New hook tries to get the pass to Josh Anderson. It's off a skate right to Kovacevic. He wrists it home from New Hook and Suzuki. The Habs take a two nothing lead with just about uh, just about halfway through the uh, the first period. Golden Knights try to push the Habs third line, the Pearson line, trying to make a bit of noise. Pearson has a backhand just wide. Uh, Jack I had laid a big hit about four minutes in. That got the crowd going. Savkovsky has a nice hit there. Suzuki then gets clipped at center ice. No ref, no penalty because the Golden refs. How fucking right I was tonight. Uh, Theodore then finds Eichel. Big chance stop by Primo. Canadians try to press. Suzuki li- Suzuki's line is out there. Uh, trying to get the third goal for them tonight. Knights get some clears uh, as they then push. Kept the second line out for an icing. Carlson. Big stop by Caden Primo. Uh, he's been all over uh, the shot uh, counter for Vegas uh, in this first period. Solid stops by uh, Caden Primo though. Sean Monahan has a good steal. Try to wrap chance. Hill just gets a piece of it. Uh, Pazetta in the night against the boards fighting for a puck. Kulisar with a hit behind on uh, Jake Evans. And that actually surprisingly gets called. The Habs go to the power play. Uh, Habs get an early look. Uh, Caulfield is found by Monahan. Good shot robbed by Hill. Puck gets cleared. Habs have a uh, minute and 11 seconds left on the power play. When we come back for... The second period shots are 16 to 6 for the Golden Knights and a 2 0 Canadians lead after 20 minutes. Surprisingly, Canadians still have the uh, 5 on 4 advantage as the Golden Knights get some easy clears. That was probably talked about in the locker room how to kill off the penalty. Uh, Then it's a 5 on 3 for 20 seconds. Stone goes to the box for tripping up Big Dick Nick Suzuki. Habs just can't get much on the 5 on 3. Uh, the Knights score during the 5-on-4. Shorthanded goal for Brett Howden after a uh, a good Matheson Deke just couldn't uh, get a shot off. Brett Howden ends up getting a shot off. Caulfield actually was um, was actually playing playing well uh, to get back and then just get out of the way. Let Primo see the shot. It just goes off his glove and in. Uh, so it's a 2-1 lead for the Canadians. We are now 0-3 on the power play. If you're wondering why I didn't say 0-2, I just didn't count the 5-on-3 because I figured why not that... I'll count it at the end of the 5-on-4. So, 0 for 3 on the power play. Knights push. They go to the power play. Gooley gets called for a high stick. Habs are able to clear. They don't need much pressure from Vegas. There's a couple good looks that get saved. Uh, and the Canadians are 2 for 2 on the PK tonight. Habs then go right back to the power play. Stone's called for tripping again. Habs can't get many chances. Knights do clear. Habs just were not into it. But, again, against the flow of the play, Canadians score. Jesse Ullinen has a good steal off the blue line. Gets in on a break. Good top shelf shot. And it is 3-1 Canadians. Just like that. But the Knights are spawned. 18 seconds later. Uh, Brady McNabb gets his first of the year. Makes it 3-2. Uh, there's a good rebound chance. Primo just didn't have a sh- uh, just didn't have any chance on that one, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, Canadians just not playing well. I feel like they were definitely starting to rely a lot on Primo in the second period. And real end. Uh, yeah, they did. They, they just. Oh, sorry. I I feel in the first period the thing with 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 the uh, pre primo was that he was given a lot of chances and he was playing well. But the second period, the Canadians were kind of relying a lot on him to make saves. Um, yeah, the Canadians just did not play that well in the second period overall, and it it would show on the scoreboard. But that first period, Primo was was tuned in. First goal he can't blame on. Uh, first goal, just probably one he wants back, I should say. Uh, just a good shot. Second one there, I don't think you can blame on him at all. Canadians then push to get a 4-2 lead. Aiden Hill misplays a puck. Dvorak just holds a second too late. Can't bury it. Would have been a sick uh, return return goal to extend the lead back to two. Knights pressure, though, and they score. John of the Marsh so. Ties the game on a 2-on-1 rush chance. He gets the goal there. Uh, and then the Canadians score back the other way. So a lot of goal scoring here in this second period. Jesse Ullinen gets a great feed from behind the net from the pizza man to make it 4-3. to three. Uh, Good rebound, I should say. A good rebound goal from the Brady McNabb goal. Not a rebounded shot, but 
Uh, a good goal to rebound from that goal. Pazetta and Lindstrom with the assists on that one. Jacki takes a big hit from Ivan Barbashev in the corner. He went down the tunnel, unfortunately would not return for the remainder of the game, so hopefully he's fine. I believe they mentioned on commentary it was the opposite shoulder that he had hurt against Vincent DeHarnay. So hopefully there's nothing there. Hopefully it's just a, hey, let's just keep you out. It's not a game we're absolutely in dire need of winning right now. Just, you know, hold Jack guy out, which is completely fair. Uh, hopefully he is good to go Saturday against Boston. If he is injured, though, hopefully he is out of the lineup just to rest him up and get him to 100%. But, yeah, Jack guy would go down the hill. It was kind of a blindsided hit. Jack guy didn't really see Barbashev coming. Uh, not enough to get a power to draw a power play out of it, but just didn't see him coming. Vegas then go to the power play. Gouley's called on a weak cross check uh, because why can't the Canadians defend the net? Why should they be able to do that? Uh, and they score. Shea Theodore straight through Primo. That has to suck. It's just off his glove, tipped in basically. Uh, actually thought it was William Carlson's goal at first because he was right in front of the net, but does not get tipped by Carlson in any way. Habs are all of a sudden three for four. Hey. Habs are three for four on the PK tonight. Knights then pressure. Eichel has a couple chances. There's a glove by Primo. Another gets held. Uh, Pearson then breaks in off a of Monaghan pass. That's stopped by Aiden Hill. Uh, there's a hit right in the numbers right afterwards. No call because why should there be? Uh, Jesse Ulin and then misses a big chance for the hat trick. He tried, almost tried to pass it to Evans. It almost goes in. The rebound does get iced by the Golden Knights. Would have been a huge hat trick for Jesse Ullinen. Also would have been wearing the hat tonight. Uh, William Carrier then misses a rebound off an Eichel shot. There's a good chance there that can't be buried. So the shots after 40 minutes are 28-15 to 15 for the Knights and a 4-4 tie game after 40 minutes of play. That sucks. Habs early get a couple looks. The Knights do pressure. Uh, behind the net, Slavkovsky takes down White Cloud. He's called for a hold because... Obviously, why wouldn't he be? It's a Montreal Canadian against the Golden Knight. Of course he gets called. Uh, Knights push. Eichel hits the post. Knights then pressure. Primo holding the Canadians uh, in, keeping the Canadians in this game. Habs are 4 for 5 on the PK. Habs then press Monaghan. Uh, Monaghan's line getting a couple decent shifts. Uh, Anderson tries to join a rush chance. Habs come in numbers. Good transition. I think that was something we also kind of worked on. I noticed the last couple games, transition, the transition hasn't been up to par as to what it was earlier in the year, but tonight there was good transition, a couple chances as a result. Uh, good quick plays, I should say. Uh, Anderson isn't able to drop a chance down to Baron tries to go across. There's no chance. Knights then push. Uh, the, the Monaghan line is held out for a minute and a half. That could have been scary, but thankfully, uh, no harm, no foul. But the Habs go to the PK. Baron's called for a high stick on Jonathan Marcia, so... Barely clips the top of his helmet. I'm very surprised there's no embellishment call. But then against the Golden Knights, when do they ever actually commit a penalty? Uh, the Knights then try to press. Monaghan gets in shorthanded. A good clear to waste time. Habs do get the kill as the Knights get a couple close chances. Just not able to finish shots getting tipped wide or just not connecting on passes. Habs are 5 for 6 on the PK tonight. Habs then get chances with some momentum. Uh, Monaghan tries to bury a call. There's a no call on the Golden Refs uh, as there's a check to the face. Yeah, the officials for this game, by the way, uh, were, of course, if I can pull them up really quickly, the, uh, oh, I think it's play-by-play, -play, right? The fuck do I find the officials? <laughs> how do I find them? I, I think it's the box score. I forgot how to pull them up. Yeah, okay. So uh, the officials for tonight, uh, Gislain Hiber, Brendan Schrader, James Tobias and uh, Joe Mahan do with that with you what you will. Um, Caulfield gets fouled, isn't able to finish. There's a good rebound, almost gets put away. Knights then try to push. Uh, there's a puck that gets out of play of four minutes left. And then Brendan Gallagher. So Brendan Gallagher, with an A on his chest, getting paid six and a half million dollars, decides. Hey, Montreal, yeah, what the fuck? We don't need a win. Uh, ends up high-sticking um, uh, that that Pedorfowitz kid that I was talking about earlier. Uh, thankfully, takes a few teeth with him, but yeah, a great time to take a penalty with three minutes left in the game. 
It's initially called a two, but reviewed as he was down on the ice for a bit. There was blood. Trainer came out with the towel. Uh, looked like he had just gotten a, a couple teeth knocked out. And it's a four-minute double minor because Brennan Gallagher doesn't give a fuck about the Montreal Canadiens. Great fucking penalty to take for Brennan Gallagher. And who would have thought, big surprise, the Golden Knights score. Jack Eichel buries it 20 minutes in. Or 20 minutes in. 20 minutes into the power play. Jesus, 20 seconds in for the 5-4 Golden Knights lead. Just nothing Primo can really do. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it's 6-4 to four Vegas. The pig, Mark Stone, gets the two-goal lead for the Golden Refs after uh, on a solid wraparound chance. Uh, and yeah, uh, yeah, the refs, the refs are the reason we lost this game. There was three or four things that should have been called that weren't. There were at least two horrible penalties on the Canadians: the Slavkovsky one and uh, the fucking the uh, the one that I think Matson got called on. I think I said was pretty bad. There were two that should not have been called. And yeah, uh, and then all of a sudden the Canadians score. All of a sudden, 20 seconds after the 6-4 lead, Justin Barron gets his fourth of the year. Caulfield and Matheson with the assist on that one. Matheson got it up to Caulfield. Goalie is pulled, by the way. Uh, the goalie gets pulled, and it's about 10 seconds later when we score. Uh, Caulfield with a nice pass down to Barron, who just rifles at home. Uh, there's hope for the Canadians after all. Uh, Habs do win the faceoff off the draw. Goalie doesn't get pulled yet. Once he does, Josh Anderson's out there, so you know the game is done. Uh, he has a terrible pass that's picked off. Knights hold the puck behind the net. Five seconds left. Suzuki tries to get a chance, but he's just not able to. So the Habs lose 6-5 to five in regulation. The final shots are 42-28 for the Golden Knights. Um, we still put up five and only lost by a goal against one of the best teams in the league. We hopefully massively lowered Aiden Hill's save percentage and goals against average. So, yeah. Uh, Brennan Gallagher is the reason that we lose this team. Josh Anderson needs to be put on the fourth line. Um, actually, I don't even know if he was playing tonight because this speaks for itself. But, um, yeah, the Canadians. Uh, yeah, we played a good game in, in the third. Just Brennan Gallagher single-handedly cost us that fucking game. Uh, it was a decent enough first period, a really damn good one by Caden Primo. The rest of the team just so-so. Second period was god-awful all across the board. Third period, Primo made some saves that he needed to. The team just couldn't finish the job. So, yeah, um, there we go. Uh, Nick Suzuki and Goal Caulfield both lead the team with five goals, 10 assists, 15 points. Mike Matheson has four goals, tennis is 14 points. Remember when he wasn't playing like a top five, uh, top 15 D-man about five games ago? Uh, Sean Monahab, six goals, seven assists, 13 points. Alex Newhook, four goals, five assists, nine points. Brendan Gallagher, five goals, three assists, eight points. Tanner Pearson, three goals, three assists for six points. Caden Gooley has one goal, five assists, six points. Justin Barron, four goals, one assist, five points. Raphael Harpinard, who is unfortunately, again, day-to-day -day right now, four assists on the year for him. Jesse Ullinen, with about seven minutes of ice time tonight, now has three goals on the season. Uh, Jake Evans, uh, Arbor Jackeye, Joris Kiafsky, and Michael Pozzetta all have a goal, two assists for three points this season. Jordan Harris has three assists. Just, uh, sorry, Christian Dvorak and Gustav Lindstrom each have a goal and an assist this year. Uh, Kirby Dock and David Savard. Uh, Kirby Dock is unfortunately out for the remainder of the year. David Savard is out for about three to five weeks now. And Josh Anderson all have two assists this year. Yoel Armia and Jonathan Kobasevich each have a goal. And Jake Allen with an assist. Arbor Jacki has three fights. Michael Pozzetta has two. And Tanner Pearson has one. So, yeah. Um, that is going to do it for today's stream or video, I guess I should say. I was going to go live, but I just... <sighs> I just... I couldn't do it <laughs> tonight. I apologize. I genuinely just, the end of that game, I was just fucking, my, my head was like throbbing almost because how fucking pissed off I was at Brendan Gallagher. But yeah, that is going to do it for today's video again, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, which includes, but it's not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, telling else. My name's Rice. Subscribe to join the Puff Club.
Ooh, Puff Club, Hasty Club, Subhub, D Nation. If you remember the Mod Squad, they can run a comps and streams, and if it is, it's much greatly appreciated. Thank you guys again so for watching. Link in the description on the Amazon list is the PO Box, PayPal, the Discord, Letterboxd, Meeting Your Account, the Twitch, and the Streamlabs are all down there as well. Thank you guys again so for watching. Adi Mari Al, always or sorry, go Habs, go. Always remember no matter how bad we last no matter how bad we are last year, how decent we've been like this year. Ale Morial, or Go Habs Go, I should say. Actually, I do begin with Ale Morial. I'll correct myself for no reason. Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name's Rice. Again, and I am out. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye.